Hi, welcome to Daddy Curb's Garden. Tonight, Luke and I are going to work in his garden bed. He's going to plant a new tomato. We're just going to hang out together, do a little gardening, and we'll talk about it as we go along. All right, Luke, are you ready to plant a new tomato? These tomatoes are the ones that I had in the greenhouse that I started from the cuttings. And you can see lots of roots growing out the bottom. So we're going to get one of these out uh, for Luke to plant in the middle of his garden bed. All right, Luke, which one do you think you want? You pick one. That's the one? Okay, let me see if I can get that out without destroying the rest of them. You want me to dig the hole? Yep, dig the hole. Oops. Oh, you lost a strawberry. Mm. Remember to pull that mulch back. Use the side of your shovel to push that mulch back. Lay the side of it down and push the mulch back. Like this. Use the side of your shovel and just push the mulch out of the way. Get that stick and those rocks out of there. See that stick right there? And get it out of there. You go. Okay. Now you can dig your hole. Just pull, pile the soil up right there. Your soil looks nice. Your sunflowers died. Okay, Luke, we're going to put some of this eggshell calcium in the bottom of the hole, so just sprinkle some in with your hands. Take it in your fingers and just sprinkle it in the hole. Good job. Let's do one more of those. Good job. Okay. Here's your tomato plant, and I'd like to show the roots. This is that one started by cuttings, like I just said, and you can see all the roots that came off that cutting. This was the original little leaf that I left on there, and it grew, you know, another 10 inches. All right, Luke, let's put that down in the hole. And kind of stand it up a little bit, and put your soil back in there. all that soil up around that stem. Good job. Okay. You want to sprinkle some of that calcium on top around it? job all right you have a tomato plant does that one look good you think it'll grow yeah you want to go ahead and talk about your your beans and your strawberries and what's going on what is that a strawberry what's going on with that strawberry it's in red yeah your strawberry plants are looking pretty good Except it looks like we might need to add some nitrogen somehow because they're turning a little yellow. Can we eat it? No, it's not ready yet. It's still half white. When it's red. Yep. Alright, I'm going to talk about your, your sunflowers, okay? And then you can finish with your beans, alright? So the sunflowers that uh, Luke had here, all of the flowers are drooping over and ready to give seeds. So I came through and I cut the seed heads off, the flowers, and I'll show you in a minute where they're hanging in the, in the greenhouse to dry out so we can collect seeds. But for right now, I'm going to cut these sunflower stalks off. I'm not gonna pull them because I would like to not disturb the soil if we don't have to. So I'm just gonna come down to the base and cut those off.
There we go, and that opens the garden up just a little bit if we want to plant something else. All right, Luke, what do we got going on uh, against the uh, trellis? This is, this is, this is, this is my salad. Your salad? Your lettuce? This is my salad. Yeah, it looks like the seeds might be ready soon. This is my snake, snake beans. <laughs> You're right, those are the snake beans, the rattlesnake beans. Oh wait, the, were the rattlesnakes on the side or on the front? The side. Okay. So you, it looks like you had uh, maybe one plant lost in the storm, but the others survived. I think I count five, or wait, maybe four. These beans are really tall. How many survived on this side? How many bean plants do you have over here? One. I will count them. One, two, three, four. Four plants. Can you stand up and show us how tall the tallest plant is? Yeah. Is that one of your rattlesnake beans growing? When that storm came through and pushed over his trellis, I had a piece of twine tied around that 4x4 four four post to the trellis. I don't know what I was thinking. That was never going to hold the trellis up in a storm. In order to fix that, I took one of these stakes. This is, uh, these were cut in half. They were part of an old, um, like a shelving system. But I cut them in half so I can use them for stakes. And I shoved it all the way down inside the ground there, covering this. So it's a lot more solid. It's going to take a lot more to knock that trellis over this time. I'll put the rest of these tomatoes back in the greenhouse until we're ready for them. And I'll show you those sunflowers. Now over on this side where I have my drying rack, which is just a piece of twine strung across the top of this greenhouse, uh, I have peppers and radish seeds. And I hung up some of these, some of these seed heads to dry out. And they're probably ready now, but this way um, they'll be available for me to harvest those seeds whenever I'm ready. You need to join me in my garden. See you later.